All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Horse play motor in here. Getting the grill warmed up. Thought I'd go over this video. So. Sorry about that. Y'all went on a little trip. Anyway, speaking of trip, I just got back from Disney. I haven't had a lot of, uh, a lot of time to go over what I needed to go over and I lost a lot of footage in the process and I'm very uh, very aggravated about that but the video today is concerning my hydro boost let these people pass by real quick a few moments later now my hydro boost I was driving to uh, cars and coffee over here in Daytona they have a new location at Tanger Outlet supposed to be huge I was so excited I was going to it went to the drive through at McDonald's to get the kids something and the car started smoking and it was smoking out from underneath the hood not out the exhaust so we pull over and check it thank God my wife's persistent because I probably would have been stubborn and said eh, it's nothing because we did drive through some rain regardless I popped the hood and my hydro boost was spraying directly on my headers for those of you who don't know, the Hydro Boost system on a Ford assists the brakes using power steering. Now, also, for those of you who don't know, the power steering fluid on Fords is ATF. Well, I went to Advance. They couldn't source one. The guy there, Sean, was really cool. He called around to the parts house. He called around everywhere. They could not source a Hydro Boost unit for anything. I looked online. I finally found one. It was, I think, 180 something dollars. Got it sent to my house, but it was going to take a week. So I said, in the meantime, I'm going to try Blue Devil Transmission Stop Leak. Yes, transmission, because like I said, the Hydro Boost system is, through the power steering and Ford's power steering, is transmission. So I figured all them seals had to be compatible with transmission fluid. So I used transmission stop leak. Now, I put it in, and the leak actually seemed to get worse. And I, I've i always heard good things about Blue Devil, and I've had success with the head, the head gasket kit, but I've never tried anything like that. So I was very discouraged. So that was on a Monday. The part was supposed to be in on Friday. Thursday, my car had been sitting at my mom's all this time. I've been using her vehicle. Thursday I go over there to take this apart and I start to record y'all's video which is one of the files that is lost which is aggravating but I was going to show y'all how bad it was gushing out and nothing not a single drop was coming out I'm talking about before it was spraying worse than a spray bottle and not a drop was coming out I checked the system plenty in there so I made sure I topped it all off I took it around the block I slammed the brakes pretty hard you know, I did all this driving to try to make this thing leak. Slam the brakes, power steering back and forth, aggressive driving. It would not leak for nothing. This has been over a month and a half ago, and it still has not leaked a drop. I still got the part in the house. If anything happens, I'm going to replace it. But I, Blue Devil fixed my issue, and I don't have a single drop coming out of it and I wish I had all the footage and show you and I'll show you a bottle of the Blue Devil that I used because there's several there's a power steering stop leak which is not the one I used now I also used Valvoline high mileage transmission fluid which has a stop leak in it I don't know if it was the combination of the two when I topped off the system and added that in there or if it was just the Blue Devil and I'm gonna assume it's just the Blue Devil because that is remarkable it worked great and I have I've not had a single drop since then and my brakes feel way better only thing I can assume is I had an internal leak before that which finally got to the last seal that blew out the side but everything is just firm now my brakes are great and there's not a single drop and I, I know I've said that 600 times but I cannot get over it I am just it was like I don't know nine ten dollars for the bottle and my problem's gone. And like I say, even when it comes back, I got the part in the house. So I'm just going to see how long this goes. But Blue Devil, guys, it works. My Hydro Boost is perfect right now. So now that that's covered and out of the way, I thought I was going to have a whole video on replacing the Hydro Boost and how to do it and what was needed to be done and discussing it. 
I will talk about a few other things. Um, I went the day before we went to Disney. Uh, me and my wife went, and I purchased a 2008 GMC Acadia. Paid six grand cash for it. Love it. Third row seating, navigation, DVD. Phenomenal vehicle. And it does not sound like an old Ford Ranger four-cylinder with an exhaust leak. Um, so I'm fixing to start diving into my car because we have a family vehicle now. I'm going to do weight loss. I got maybe some bumpy sticks coming. Might be possible. Got motor mounts. I got headers. Got all the stuff that's already planned and some of it on the way. And uh, Nick that does all the work on, uh, or not all the work, but a lot of the work on Andrew's car at Mustang Lifestyle. He, I've already talked to him and he's going to do the work for me. Uh, we've agreed on a price and I think it's phenomenal and he's a well-known Mustang mechanic. So there are big things coming. Please be patient with the channel. Please like, comment, subscribe guys. There's, this is going to stay NPI just so y'all know. Uh, this, the NPI cars get so much hate that I want to be the guy that kind of pushes the envelope a little. No, I'm not going to be the pioneer because there are pioneers. There's people running tens on NPI heads. I'm not going to do that, but I just want to show what they're capable of. MPI hits flow more above 500 lifts. These camshafts are above 500 lifts that I'm getting. So it's going to utilize that flow of the, of the MPI heads. Also, my compression, I don't, I'm keeping that. I don't care about, you know, if it's lower or high compression. I'm just staying with what I have, and I want to see what I can do. So I might even surprise myself what it's going to be done. I do see nitrous down the road or maybe a supercharger or something like that. I thought I had a really great deal on an SVO intake, and I had everything lined up, and the dude backed out at the last minute. He claims that somebody came and offered him 900 cash. So we was talking for 600. So if he, uh, if that's true, you know, can't really fault him. But from where I'm from, if I give somebody my word, if I say, hey, I'll give you this for 200 dollars, I don't care if somebody offers me a thousand. I've already made a deal with this person. That's my word. That's just the type of person I am. So, yeah, it rubbed me the wrong way, but at the same time, you know, people's got families, they got things to do, and money, you know, money talks. So, I understand that. And I'm sorry this is a lot of rambling in this video. Like I said, so much of my footage was deleted. I'll insert what I have, so I might repeat myself a few times, but I, I think I repeat myself every video anyway. My mind gets to going way faster than my mouth does. So, But I do have uh, a thing I'm going to do a review on the Acadia. Um, somebody told me that reviews do pretty good on there. And uh, I got a few little things I need to do to the Acadia. Uh, very common for gym vehicles, the buttons on the AC, they scratch off and you get replacement buttons that pop on. I'll show you how to do that. It's basically uh, decals that go over it. It's really cool. So I got that ordered, um, and then I tell like that I had a little crack in it that, you know, there was no issue. We didn't even notice it when we bought it, and then overnight it got condensation in it. So I don't want to have to deal with that because I've had an issue where, on this car, where I had to replace part of the tail light uh, wiring harness because corrosion got into the bulb socket, and that corrosion walked down the line, and I had about this much wire that was just green on the inside from corrosion, and it's, it's not a good thing. So, like I said, bear with me. There's a lot coming to the channel. I think y'all really going to enjoy it, especially my NPI guys. I'm staying NPI. I'm staying two-valve. Weight reduction is on the way. I, the biggest weight reduction I need to do, but uh, I don't know if I'm not dedicated. <laughs> but we'll see, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. I'm sorry this was kind of lackluster, but um, if that video wouldn't have been deleted, you would have seen how shocked I was when I was going to show y'all how bad it leaked and then nothing came out that made a liar of me. But Blue Devil works. I've had, since I've posted this, telling people about it, I've had several people tell me they've had luck with Blue Devil. I had blue luck, or blue luck. I had luck with Blue Devil with my BMW. I had a, a head gasket seepage and it was boosted at 14 pounds. After I put the Blue Devil in there, and I never had another leak or issue, even up until I traded it up. I never had, never had an issue out of it. So, 
that's about it for now guys like i said i have a review coming up and i have a lot coming for my car horse place it's gonna be uh might not be the fastest two valve or mpi car but it's it's damn sure gonna be rowdy and sound rowdy so stay tuned like i said please like comment subscribe i'm almost up to 300 subscribers i'm very excited about that guys so thank y'all for watching all right guys here is the new unit this goes through the firewall right here sets something like this right here your master cylinder goes here the lines go into the side right here and this is the actuator in which your pedal presses is right here so that'll push in the fluid circulating helps push on the master cylinder giving you brake assist mine this is the bottom side mine was leaking can you see how there's two parts right here it's bolted mine was leaking right here and it was squirting out I'm talking like a spray bottle right in this groove so to get it out you get it on the inside you undo there's a shaft through here I think with a cotter pin or something I don't remember you pull it out you undo the bolts you undo the master cylinder you undo the lines and then you pull it out and the replacement is the exact opposite I'm gonna keep this and uh, eventually I'll probably replace it down the road just because I have it but I am really interested in seeing how long the blue double holds out but this is the new unit and that's where mine was leaking from is right there so I figure maybe I had an internal leak somewhere and it finally worked its way to here and blew out. But I'll fix for now. We'll see. I will turn around. I done made it this far. Look back now, that wouldn't be too smart. Shoot for the stars even when it gets hard. Put my faith in the Lord with the 16 boys. I won't turn around. I done made it this far. Look back now, that wouldn't be too smart. Shoot for the stars even when it gets hard. Put my faith in the Lord with the 16 boys. I won't turn around. I won't, I won't turn around.